Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Broke Rock. So, I've worked on or built the next building, which was the is the general store. So, I put that right over here. I have not uh, done anything on the inside yet. Still needs a little work. I did go ahead and connect these bridge or uh, the pathway, so you can just walk straight from one to the other. And then I just kind of block this little area off. I put a torch in there just because I don't want anything spawning in there. Um, I don't know if I'll leave it like that. But I wanted to put some light in there so nothing spawned. So here's the general store. Um, right here is going to be, right next to this is going to be the bank. Um, but you go in here. And I'm thinking about changing this out a little bit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to change it out, swap it out with stairs, or maybe make it look more like a counter. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'll have to play around some ideas. But I'm going to add a little bit of shelving in here um, to make it look like stuff that you would buy or whatnot or trade with. I guess technically they traded back then. So that's probably what I'm going to work on for this episode. Uh, decide what I want to do with that there. Add some shelving in. Uh, I did decide that I want to put the water tower back here. Uh, so it'll go right here where these logs are. I thought I'd kind of fill that in a little bit in the back. Um, and you'll be able to see it up over the buildings and that's where I'm going to put the portal so the portal is going to move I decided I'm I'm definitely gonna put it in the water tower hopefully it will be up high enough that the sound of it won't be quite as annoying I do have a livery stable Design which I think I'm gonna cut kind of put on the edge of town with the blacksmith. I do have the undertaker's design which I think I'm gonna put there because I would also be the edge of town. Uh, did I put a sign over here? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's the last one I decided where I was gonna place. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to put next to it, and I had something in mind. Matter of top of my head, I can't remember what it was. I done several different builds. Like I said, the fire will go out there. Yes, sir. Okay, so with that, I'm going to see if I can get something going on in here. I will probably do the pressure plate so you can just come out and the door open. Definitely going to need more iron. Um, I need to put some light out here. And I would rather use um, lanterns and these torches but I don't have enough iron to do that with so I'm just gonna put these out here because I've been meaning to do this and just haven't done it yet uh, let's just throw one there and then we'll throw one nope we'll put that there That one's okay, I think. Maybe one right there. Something like that. And then, like I said, we'll connect this up with the bank. Uh, and then, when we get that built, I don't know. I might end up just, instead of doing that, Maybe completely closing that off. I don't know. Okay, so, like I said, we're going to work on the interior of this one today. So, let's see. I do need some spruce pressure blades for one. There's trap doors. Uh, I haven't been doing too much of the interior stuff on camera just because it's a lot of me trying to figure out 
excuse me, a lot of me trying to figure out what I want to do exactly. And I've been trying to keep these videos a little bit on the shorter side just to make it easier editing wise uh, for work because of work and whatnot. So let me let me go ahead and get that interior finished and then I'll bring you back and show you what I did and hopefully the video will be long enough that I can put the time lapse of me building the general store in the corner like I have been. So I will meet you guys here in a few. Okay, um, I'm going to tell on myself a little bit here. This is <laughs> take two of this uh, outro part of the video. I decided to go ahead and record my first person view of decorating up the general store and I had the audio turned off because I just just kind of wanted to do a short little time lapse of me doing that to insert into the video and well when I recorded this part I forgot to turn it back on <laughs> anyway so this is what I did with the decoration of the general store and I want to thank Dara for letting me know that I could actually build, whoops, I, that I could actually make these pots. I wasn't sure if I could or not. Uh, the new bookcases are real easy to make. I will at some point make some books to put in there. Um, I, I do have the leather. I just don't think, I'll have to look see if I got any sugar cans so I can make the paper. I've been kind of killing zombies here and there and just smelting the the rotten flesh into leather so I added this shelf in um, I don't know if I will put um, anything in the chest but I may if I have the extra just kind of make it look like there's stuff to be sold in the store and then I added a shelf over here and a couple more of those pots and my original design, I had a window here, but I decided to not add it to this since it's pretty much butted up against the build uh, next door. So I decided not to add a window there. Now this, the idea behind doing the glass here, I wanted to try to make this look like a display case. I couldn't... I, I know I can use armor stands um, and push the glass over the armor stands, but there was more of the armor stand showing that I would have liked. So I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I wish we had the ability to make the armor stands invisible like they do in Java, um, but unfortunately we do not have the ability to do that as far as I know. So I'm still kind of undecided on this. I may end up just doing like I did here and then put something in either frames on the counter possibly. And then back here, I am gonna do that whole armor stand with the glass trick. And I'm gonna put uh, armor stands back here in glass and glass and make it look like um, I guess you could say kind of like mannequins uh, displaying clothing so that's what I'm gonna do there and I decided to put it back here I just cuz it's I don't know I just liked it back there so that's what I'm gonna do there but I'm not doing that yet because I am using the structure to help me build a little bit quicker um, since I'm pre-designing all the builds and then I'm using the structure to actually build it on the server. So this is our general store. Uh, torches will eventually be changed out for lanterns. But again, iron and I have very little iron left right now. Even after Jax had brought me, I want to say 12 uh, iron blocks and... I've used a few already. I'm kind of trying to conserve some of the iron, uh, but I am going to need a lot for those torches. 
I did put some uh, for lanterns. I mean, I did put some torches up there. Uh, just try to help with the mob spawning. Uh, road wise, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do dirt and sand, um, that kind of stuff for the roadway. And those trees will eventually be gone. So, oh, I did decide the portal is going to go into the water tower. And I've decided, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning or not, but it's going to go back here. I decided that that would be a good little spot to kind of sneak it in. And you'll be able to see it over the build. And that's also within the town uh, rather than outside of the town. Uh, so that I will probably do off camera though. I don't think I'm going to do that one on camera. It's just a small simple little build and then I can move that portal. Uh, it will probably it will change the location of my portal nether side so I might have to see if I can get somebody to help me uh, nether side get that portal in the right location. <clears throat> and hopefully the white right y level so we can start so i can start thinking about tunnel um making my way to the nether hub area uh which kai i believe has a design for that but uh, he did say today that his pc has uh gone belly up so i'm not sure what he's going to do there or how if we will just try to do the hub um, depending on how long Kai may be out with the PC issue um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I know we've talked about livery stable over there I did mention that I do have the undertaker over there <coughs> excuse me that it's going to be there brought a across from the sheriff but whatever <laughs> it's just the best place it would fit um it's getting nighttime again so i do have undertaker designed i do have the livery stable and the blacksmith which is probably going to go here on the edge of town um we do have a hotel I don't know if it's going to go there or if it's going to go there. Um, which, uh, trying to decide too, because most towns would have like a hotel, which was like your short term, and then a boarding house, which is where for your long term uh, stays. So I'm trying to decide if I want to add that, which I might. Um, I'm pretty much considering this like the, the mayor's house. Um, I decided that this down here will probably be like the office area and then the housing part will be up here um, so that the mayor basically lives in the mayor's office, basically. So he lives upstairs. And that was the case for a lot of places like that like they would the general shopkeepers would usually live above their shops um so i might still do a boarding house i might do it maybe there on this side so it's not like right next to the hotel um, but i haven't designed that yet um there's so many different things i have a whole list of things that I've thought of that you know people has mentioned so <laughs> I'm gonna probably run out of room uh, before I would be able to have everything in here so uh, we might have to expand the, the town depending on what all I decide to do and how much time I have but anyway, so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here. I've rambled on quite enough like I tend to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and we will see you in the next one. Bye.